My name is Michelangelo Thorne, and I'm the youngest detective ever get bumped up to the Boston's Police Department's Homicide Division. You can say I earn my rep by some cold cases that ain't nobody else solved before. My eyes can scope a clue from a mile away, and my brain can be some together faster than Sherlock and Agatha's love child. <laughs> it's funny, I'm actually excited to see the crime scene. I'm not a sociopath and others, so don't get it mixed. I'm just like cases that are just challenging, and I like stretching out the old noodle every once in a while. What's with the new outfit, Mick? Don't like it? I think it looks, uh, avant-garde. Jeez Louise, I think my partner's having a seizure. I hope you sign the dang donut card so that can, they can dissect that inflated brain of yours over at NASA. I'm not dying, you putz. Avant-garde's a Euro way of saying I look decked out. A uh, Euro? God, if I knew my partner was gonna be saying words like this, I would've taken a sick day. <sighs> well, at least I'm not the one with the Phobos from Goodwill. Hey! What's wrong with my shoes? I will have you know, my girlfriend bought me these shoes. Oh, which one? Hey, screw you. Screw you. You're all right, Mick, for now. Detective Thorne. Detective Joel. Officer Gomez. Wait, Detective Thorne? That's right. Oh, I, I heard about you. I heard about you. Wait, uh, are, the, uh, are the rumors true? Like, wow. About you one about, of them. Wait, so even the rumor about you solving five cases on one weekend? Yep. Even the rumor about you just started grouping. <laughs> Watch it, Greenhorn. Right, that was a good one. Give me a... There you go. Alright. Alright, show us around the crime scene. Yep, it's untouched, gentlemen. This All way. Right. Stay here. I'll, I'll be back with you in a moment. Damn. Someone really wanted this guy dead. Look at this. Sledging. Guy's been watching too many cartoons. Just look at this bottom pattern. That blow definitely knocked him back a few feet. What you think of her benches? I bet you I can bench more. Bench is not gonna help you when you're in the slammer. I'm on death row. Prep have any ID? Nope. Nothing, not even pocket. John Doe, huh? Damn. It's gonna make it hard to get a lead. Speaking of which, where's the corner at? Yeah, sorry about that, Detective. Uh, just phoned Dr. Rodney. Apparently he's still stuck in traffic. <sighs> Rodney's on this case? Crap. I thought he was on vacation. Guess he came back early. What's your problem with the guy? Ah, uh, just drop it, why don't you? John Doe was originally standing here. No sign of a fight, so he must have been standing here for a while. Gomez, any sign of uh, tire tracks coming in? Nope, sorry. Damn, he walked here. Car would help identify him. What kind of a schmuck would walk around at the middle of the morning in a neighborhood like this? This means someone here. Possibly that killer. Regardless. Remote location, lack of a vehicle. Dude was definitely up to something sketchy. Mm, sketchy. I know the neighborhood. There's a couple of uh, gangbangers I live over in that general vicinity. When we get back to the department, I'm gonna look up some of their records, see if any, any of them are convicted of murder in the past couple months. You can follow that lead if you want, but I don't think this is a prime real estate for a uh, gangster's bachelor pad. What do you suggest, Sherlock? Nah, it's gotta be drugs. Hey boys, come look at this. Is there another cool mech? Looks like our buddy's been in the uh, snow shoveling business. Wow, uh, crap, looks like another dope deal. I see blood over there. Whose blood do you reckon that is? Can't be our John Doe. He had to be standing over there for a while. So you think it's our purpose? Possibly. I don't want to jump to any conclusions yet. Let's let uh, Dr. Rodney analyze his blood first. Screw that. I don't want to get my head chopped off by the tomb keeper. Hey, guys, you know, we can always take a statement from the witness. 
There's a witness! So, Detective, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you there was a statement. What is this, Chinese? So uh, it's shorthand, Detective. We don't need it, you putz. We're taking him downtown for questioning. Uh, excuse me, officer? Yes, with me. Hey, wait up! Uh, nice job, officer. Don't I have rights? You were outside of the murder scene, which makes you a suspect. So why you lie about uh, Gomez's handwriting anyway? Cause screw Dr. Rodney, that's why. No? victim who was violently murdered with a sledgehammer and a possible drug deal or gang mugging gone wrong. Blood from another party entirely, that could be our perp, along with cooperating witness. Oh yeah, this will serve to be the case I was searching for, the case that will make my career go into BPD record books. cases and so that was college. That was college, he says. What a joke. Look, rat. I'm trying here and I call you up, I buy you the damn coffee. Alright, I'll buy you. What do you want to talk about? Jesus, it's, it's been five years. I just want to catch up, you know? Catch up? That's Rich, you leave in the middle of the night without so much as a toodaloo, and five years later you finally call me up? What a laugh. Crap, please, you're causing a rap. Screw you, Buster! You come in here wearing a costume twirling your finger like it's Halloween. Well, newsflash, life ain't just about boxes of candy. Well, you've been out there playing detective, I've been worried about how to pay Ma's bills. Ma's bills? Her hospital bills! Ma's sick? Oh, so now you show some damn concern for your family. Ma's had to get chemo three times in the same place. Docs say it's really taking its toll on her. And now you come on here, and you want to catch up? Screw you! I didn't know. Damn right you didn't know. It's like you don't know the struggles I've had to go through, the sacrifices I've had to make. All right, champ. Go back to your fantasy job and take your stinking coffee with you. I saw a man standing alone, then a man, all in black, appeared up behind him and bashed his head in with something. The guy went down. There was so much blood. What happened to the man in black? 
Did you see his face at all? I'm, I'm sorry, no. He was wearing a hood over his face. After he, um, killed the man, he ran off into the distance. After that, I called the police, and that's when you guys showed up. You don't know the struggles I've had to go through, the sacrifices I've had to make! Metaphor. No, let's run, let's run it philosophically. No, what, say, what is bizarre? It's a metaphor. You put the thing that can kill you between your lips. You mean like that dick you sucked last night? Hi-oh! Oh. Action. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Action. Keith Johnson. I was just walking by and then I saw this. Hey, Mick, what are you doing? Bye, Apple. I'm pretty sure that's the end of the scene. <laughs> Crap! Ronnie's on this case. I thought the fool was on vacation. Is he cute? Hey, boys, come look at this. Is it another clue, Mick? <laughs> God damn it. Action. Think the blood was on perps? My line again. Uh, Screw that! I ain't waiting around to get my head chopped off by the tomb keeper. Hey, you guys can always take a statement from the windows. You suck! I have to tell you there was a statement. Why do you keep throwing the book? Action. Look, Ralph. I'm trying here, right? I call you up. I buy you the damn coffee. What do you always do? Action. I can't remember how it starts. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's screwing you, bud. Alright, action. Screw you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was empty. <laughs> I said to you.